What is SAP? Why do we need ERP? Beginner tutorial. The fundamental question is, why do companies require enterprise resource planning? To answer this question, we consider a hypothetical scenario of a typical business organization as described below. A customer who is interested in buying a particular product from the company approaches the sales team. The sales team inquires from the inventory department whether the product is available in their stores. They find out that the product is unavailable and as such, they have to inform the production planning department to manufacture the product. The production planning team begins by confirming from the inventory department if the raw material is available. If the raw material is not in the inventory, then production planning team has to buy from vendors and deliver it to the shop floor to begin the manufacture of the product. After the product has been manufactured, the shop floor team sends it to the sales team for onward delivery to the client. After that, the sales team informs the finance department of the money generated from product sale. Also, the production planning team informs the finance department of the payments owed to vendors who supplied the raw materials. The HR department handles any issue concerning the employees across all the departments. This scenario describes the normal business operations of a typical manufacturing company, and from it, we can deduce the following salient issues. There are many departments or business units for you in a typical organization. There is constant communication and exchange of data among the departments or business units. Efficient communication and exchange of data within the department slash BU and between the departments and third parties, vendors, outsourcers, and customers will determine the success of any company. Depending on the mode of managing communication and data exchange in an organization, enterprise software systems are broadly classified into decentralized systems and centralized systems, also known as ERP. We begin by discussing the decentralized systems first. For a decentralized system of data management, each department within the organization attains its data locally. Also, the information or data of an individual department cannot be accessed by the other departments. The problems inherent in a decentralized enterprise management system can be identified if we look at the same business process described earlier. The customer makes an inquiry with the sales team for a product which he requires urgently. Because the sales team does not have immediate access to information about the product inventory, they lays with the inventory department to ascertain its availability. This process is time-consuming and makes the customer opt for another vendor, which leads to both revenue loss and dissatisfaction on the part of the customer. The sales team might decide to approach the planning team to manufacture the unavailable product for future use. In this case, the production planning team makes inquiries about the availability of raw material needed to manufacture the product. But for this case, the production planning and inventory department stored the information on raw materials separately from each other. This kind of storage of information increases the cost of storing data. Inventory records might show that the raw material needed to manufacture a product is available, but the production planning database indicates that the raw material is out of stock. The production planning team proceeds to purchase the raw material, increasing both the material and inventory cost. After the raw material is available, the shop floor department suddenly recognizes that they don't have enough workers and inform the HR department. The HR hires temporary workers at rates higher than the market rates, thereby increasing the labor cost. The finance department is not informed about the raw materials which the production planning team bought. Because of this information breakdown, the finance department defaults on the payment deadline set by the vendors, which leads to the company losing its reputation and exposure to possible legal action. This scenario describes some of the many obstacles faced by a decentralized system. Some major problems faced by a decentralized system are challenges in maintaining numerous disparate information systems that are developed individually over time. The system requires a lot of time and money to integrate the data. The system is prone to inconsistencies and duplication of data. The delay in information leads to higher chances of customer dissatisfaction, loss of revenue, and reputation. High cost of inventory, material, and human resource. The solution to these problems faced by a decentralized system can be solved by centralized systems. For a company with a centralized system of information and data management, data is centrally stored and shared with several departments. Departments are allowed to access information or data of other departments. To understand how a centralized enterprise system helps overcome the challenges faced by a decentralized enterprise system, we go back to the same business process again. For this case, we have a single central information system that all departments constantly update. The sales team is approached by a customer who wants to buy a product urgently. 
The sales team can access the updated central information system in real time to inquire about the products and inventory. The inventory department also updates in real time the centralized system with information of products in stock. The revenue is increased, and the customer is happy because the sales team responded on time. If the product is to be manufactured, the sales team updates the centralized database, which automatically updates the production planning team. The production planning team checks the central database, which the inventory department has updated for information on the availability of the raw material required. Constantly updating the database eliminates the duplication of data and avails accurate data. The central database is regularly updated with information on the status of the workforce by the shop floor team. The HR department can access the central database updated by the shop floor team. Whenever there is a shortfall in labor, HR has a significant lead time to commence the recruitment process. Sufficient lead time ensures that an appropriate workforce is hired at market price, thereby lowering the labor cost. The vendors are permitted to submit their invoices straight into the centralized enterprise system. The finance department pays the vendors on time and eliminates possible legal actions because it accesses the vendors' invoices directly from the centralized enterprise system. The main advantages of the centralized system are data duplication, discontinuity, and redundancy is eliminated. Information across departments is availed in real time. It ensures that there is control over various business processes. It enhances productivity, better inventory management, promotes quality, reduce material cost, effective human resources management, reduced overheads, boosts profits. It ensures better customer interaction, increased throughput, improves customer service. Therefore, a centralized enterprise management system is necessary. The SAP is a centralized enterprise management system, also known as enterprise resource planning.